Hey, sixth grade, it's time for lesson 2.2.1, where we learn how to multiply fractions by whole numbers. And to do that, we're going to use a number line to multiply the whole number by a fraction. All right, so here we go. You need to go get this worksheet. It is on the 2.2.1 shelf inside the classroom. We're going to start with a problem about Faisal, who makes $12 an hour. Not amazing, but not terrible either. We need to figure out how much does he make in three hours of work. So if I was going to solve this problem, I could just write out pretty, a pretty simple problem here. I could say he makes $12 for the first hour, and $12 for the second hour, and $12 for the third hour. And if I wanted to know the total that this person makes, I could add all three of those, and I would get the total. But this question said to write a multiplication sentence. So this is the multiplication sentence that I would write. Faisal got three repeats, that's the three groups, three repeats of... $12. You saw me write 12 three times. So 3 times 12, 3 repeats of $12, is a total of $36. So the question is, does this multiplication sentence represent 3 groups of 12, let me highlight that, represent 3 groups of 12, or does it represent 12 groups of 3? Well, I hope you can see that in this picture, right here, it was 3 12s, 3 groups of 12. Because if it was the other direction, if it was 12 groups of 3, let me write that down as a times problem. 12 groups of 3 is the same as 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3. 12 times. And eventually, Faisal would make $36. But do you think Faisal would rather make $3 an hour or $12 an hour? And I think it's pretty obvious that if he's going to make $36, he'd rather work 3 hours rather than 12 hours. Okay, so we're going to try this with a number line. Faisal makes $12 an hour. We're going to model this on the number line. So you'll see that on the top of your page, on the top of your page, here it is. It says Faisal makes $12 an hour. You're going to fill in the $12 an hour. The zero represents $0. And this first line right here represents after one hour. So if Faisal makes $12 an hour, then here's 12. And if we move it over one line, that means he works another Hour, so that's 12 more dollars, so that should be 24. And then if he works another hour, that's 12 more dollars, so that should be 36. So if you're seeing this pattern, it's plus 12 going across because each hour he makes 12 more dollars. All right, your job is to fill in the rest of that number line all the way to the end. Okay. So your number line should have ended with 108. Right? We're going to use that number line to think about what if Faisal worked exactly seven hours? Right. So we're going to put Faisal at the beginning of your number line. Okay, so here's Faisal. You can make a smiley face here. Here's smile. All right, showing up, happy to be working. If he works 12 hours, sorry, if he works 7 hours, that would be one jump. That's one hour, two hours, three hours, four hours, five hours, six hours, seven hours. Right, Faisal would make $84. Right, so... We're going to do that same thing. This is now Roman numeral I. It says, what if Faisal works five hours? So make sure you put a five here next to Roman numeral I. This is on your sheet. Then we're going to put Faisal above the zero, showing up, happy to be working, right? Maybe not happy at the end, but right now happy. And we're going to show five hours. That means we need to make five jumps. There's the first hour, second hour, third hour, fourth hour, fifth hour. How much money does Faisal make? A total of $60. So we'll write equals $60. Faisal made $12 each hour, so that goes in the second blank. And Faisal worked for five hours. Faisal has five jumps of $12. So the multiplication sentence is five times $12. But Faisal doesn't have to work a perfect number of hours. Perhaps Faisal was only scheduled to work six and one half hours. So now next to Roman no numeral number two, you need to write in six and one half. We'll draw Faisal above the zero. Hey, Faisal. Right, and this time we need six and a half jumps. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, and a half. So that means Faisal gets right here. So Faisal is between 72 and 84, and we need to know what number is exactly halfway in between. There are lots of ways to solve this. You try to figure out and write it down. All right, let's see if you solved it the same way that I did. I noticed that the difference between 72 and 84 is 12. So half of 12 is 6. So that means 72 plus 6 
gets us to $78, right? And then if we plus another six, we should get right back to 84. And yeah, we do. All right, so for this multiplication sentence, Faisal ends up with $78. He's still making $12 an hour, but this time we had six and a half jumps. Okay, now something happened in Faisal's family for your last example. For your last example, this time Faisal only works three-fourths of an hour. Faisal gets called into work. So Faisal shows up to work and then gets a call and has to go home. What could have happened? His kid could have been sick. Um, maybe there was an emergency. Um, maybe he showed up to work and there were too many people working, so they sent him home. Right. So the question that I want to ask first is, if he works three-fourths of an hour, would he end up with more than $12 or less than $12? You're going to explain that on the next stop. All right, let's see if you're right. This is Roman numeral number three. Faisal works three-fourths of an hour. So we're going to write three-fourths here next to Roman numeral number three. And notice that that's less than an hour. So this is a zoomed-in version of the number line. From zero to 12, this is one whole hour right here. So I'm going to color this in. This is one whole hour. See that bar, that purple bar? Because the denominator is four, I need to chunk up this bar into four equal parts. So I'll cut it in half, and then each half and half. Right? And then I can write the numbers underneath. So again, if that whole bar is $12, then half is $6, and half of that is 3, and then let's see, 0 plus 3 plus 3, which means the next one has to be 9 to follow the plus 3 pattern, and then plus 3. Yep, great. So Faisal is only working 3 fourths of an hour. So this time I'm going to draw it kind of small. This time he'll have a frowny face, right? Something happened. Right? His kid is sick, has to go to school and pick them up. So Faisal's going to work three mini jumps. One, two, three. Faisal still gets paid because Faisal worked. This time, Faisal makes $9. So that's our final answer, $9. Faisal is still making repeats of 12, and this is the part that's kind of confusing. Because if Faisal had worked more than an hour, you would see those repeats of 12. The multiplication sentence is saying that he's working less than one repeat of 12. He's only working three-fourths of that hour, so that's three-fourths of $12. So the answer to this problem was he should be making less than $12 because he's working less than one hour. Less than one hour. All right, your job in class is to work on the back side where you're going to be doing more number lines to be thinking about what a part of a whole number might mean. This is on the back side of the paper you have right now. Please, please, please remember, in this class, you can always work with other students on your in-class assignments, not on your mastery checks, but on your in-class assignments you can. Also remember that if you want help, you can look at the 2.2.2 page in Schoology. I always attach a video for each practice page, right? So if you're stuck on how to start, head there first and look at 2.2.2 in Schoology.